Good morning. Uh, my name's Bill Oxton. I'm doing this uh, video uh, based on the uh, kind of gentle movements, loosely based on the uh, Qigong exercises. I'm doing it uh, for Sport Aberdeen. And the reason I'm doing it is I, I, I usually do classes, but because of the circumstances, which we're all totally aware of, uh, we're unable to do any classes in sports centres. So I'm doing this online. And uh, this is a, it's a new thing for me, so bear with me, please. Uh, it's a drich morning, or I possibly would have done this outside. Um, so, uh, again, bear with me with this. I'm doing this in my house, as you can see. Uh, just a couple of things uh, be, be, before I start is uh, some of us, or many of us, uh, maybe haven't done any exercise uh, for at least a week or two. Uh, I know some of us are confined uh, to, the, to, your, to your house. So it's possibly, you know, you're deconditioned. So uh, when we do the exercise, do it in a safe manner. Uh, don't overdo it. Uh, and also, we're doing the exercises, you know, in our house. Uh, so again, you know, just be aware of that. It's not a normal, usual place in most cases uh, where we, we would do our exercises. So just, you know, again, be careful. I mean, in the context of obstacles and things maybe in the way. Uh, and I say this before every class, enjoy it. Uh, and I know I'm sorry, I'm looking very happy to be now because uh, <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about this. Uh, but the important thing I think is, uh, enjoy the class and get something out of it. You can do these exercises uh, sitting down or standing up, preferably standing up. I understand that some people may have to, may have to do it uh, sitting down. You can stop at any point, obviously, too. So, um, again, as an old cliche, uh, uh, listen to your body, and it's it's a cliche because it's a, it's a good thing to always remember, you know, so you you, you know you're better your body better than anybody. So, uh, you know, l listen to it and uh, as you're doing the exercises, uh, uh, adjust accordingly. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm going to start now. Uh, and the, the, the exercises, I'm going to start with a, a bit of self-massage. Uh, this, this is the program or the exercise program. It's based on the Move More uh, gentle movement program that uh, some of us have been doing for a number of years now, um, and I kind of I've added in one or two things. Uh, so what it is we start off with a a a, 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 a bit of uh, stretching, a bit of self massage, uh, then we go into mobility, and that's just to kind of loosen up the joints. And then we go into the soy main part of the exercise, which is uh, a number of uh, exercises, which I'll, I'll explain more uh, as, as I go through them. So uh, without uh, further ado, I'll get started. Uh, and I'll get up from my chair here. Uh, okay. Let's get going. The chair's there for a reason, actually, uh, and I'll come to that in a minute or two. So let's just start off with this rubbing the hands together. It's not particularly warm here. Uh, it's the morning. As I said earlier, it's a brief kind of morning. Weather's been fantastic in Aberdeen up to the last few days, but it's only March. Can't complain too much. And then what I want you to do is take these hands and press it over my head. Take my hands down and do that a couple of times. And we'll just get some heat in our brain. And then take the hands, I'll do a bit of this using one hand, patting the area between my neck and my shoulder. And what you find is a lot of tension up in there. So it's a nice thing to do. 
can use that other hand to support your hand if you so wish. And I'm going to continue with the hand down the arm. I'm going to do that kind of tapping, so pattern movement. Under the arm, on top of the arm. And then finally, a brushing, a sort of massage, self massage. Now, at any point uh, when you're doing this, uh, you feel any sort of sharp pain or just uh, discomfort, stop. Okay, and then I'll move on to the other side. Starting to enjoy this a bit more as I get into it. that sort of pattern on the shoulder, or between the shoulder and the neck, and then take the hand down. That's good. And then I'm brushing it there. Okay, and then we'll do a wee bit more of this. So if I've got my sort of fingers together. See this? Just underneath the collar bone. I'll just do that kind of wee tap. Again, you can do this as long as you want. I'll just shift this to the side. And then just go to assess uh, the breastbone or sternum. Very lightly, don't do this hard. That's good, that's nice, that's quite nice. Again, just relax and enjoy it. Okay, now see this, I've got my hand here, it's the other side, it's my other side of my palm. And what I'm gonna do is just do that kind of movement around. So this is, I'm doing it in the way uh, the food digests and this, if you've had your breakfast, uh, which I haven't yet myself had a bit of toast earlier, this is a nice way to aid the digestion. So it's just that sort of circular movements. Round about just underneath your ribs, round about your intestine. That's good. Okay, and then I'm going to do one final movement. And again, I take my, this is the front of the fist, and I Massage this area here. I'll show you, I'll turn around and show you. I mean, uh, what it is. Again, that's. Okay, so we're going to move on now. I tell you, just shake your hands a bit. That's it. It's better. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to get to the mobility part of it. And I always like to start from the top and walk on the way down. So we're going to start with the neck movement to the side. Basically, this loosens up the neck joint and the muscles around the neck. Okay. 
and then up and down. So taking the chin down the down the chest and releasing it. And then what we want to do is to just go straight into the shoulder. So what we're doing is we're raising our shoulder up as far as we can and then taking it back in itself. So we're raising it up and then as we take it back, we engage our shoulder blades. Uh, I think it's a lovely movement this, particularly if you're a bit tensed up. And it also opens up the chest. That's good. We'll just do one way. We can do the other way, but we're just going to do it one way. So this is a sum. So we'll start off just that so a nice general movement. So the arms are like dead weights. It's just a so waist is doing the movement. That's it. Okay, that's good. Good. Okay, now what we want you to do, I see you said this right at the start, when it started in the belly, all these positions are, all these uh, movements are done with our feet approximately shoulder width or hip width apart. But this time, we're going to take the, extend the feet so they're maybe double shoulder width apart. What we're going to do is we're going to carry on that movement, but we're going to make it a little bit more vigorous and we can bring in That's good. Ah, that's it. Okay, and then we bring our feet back together again. And this is where I'm going to use a chair. I'm going to do a hip movement. So uh, I've got the chair here. Uh, if you don't need the chair, can't see the top of my head now, but it doesn't matter. This is the one you can probably see my leg now. So I'm raising my leg forward and taking out to the side. Okay. One more. And then what I'm going to do now, and again, you can't see this, but uh, well, I think I maybe can show you this basically I'm doing that movement. Now, you wouldn't obviously do it at this level. You do it with your foot about an inch off the floor. And basically, what we're doing is ankle rolls. Again, if you need the chair for support, use the chair. So I'm just doing a number of ankle rolls. And then we'll do switch over to the other side in that movement. And then make that the last one. And then we're on the other side. We're doing our core rolls here. Okay, that's good. At this point, again, I think you should, everybody should have this close by. I'm going to take a drink. Make sure you drink regularly as you're doing the exercise. Okay, so we're going to carry on with some mobility stuff, just a bit more. 
We raise the heart rate a bit, just some walking on the spot. One, you can get a bit more vigorous using the arms. And again, as I said earlier, you can do these all these movements sitting down if you so wish. Okay, I'm going to introduce another. I'm going to do this sorry, hand knee movement. A cramp for space here, actually. So they know the best. So what I'm doing is opposite. It gives me that swing. I'm a great believer in warm-ups. So mine are probably longer than most people. And the older you get, the more warm-up you need, particularly in the morning. That's another factor. You're starting this off, not long out of bed. You're probably still half asleep. Certainly with mine anyway. A couple of cups of coffee help, a cup of tea. Start functioning. Okay, and we're back on this floor again. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this one. I just love this movement. It's basically an uppercut. Can't see my feet as my weight shifts from one side to the other. I lift my heel. That's optional, actually. That's quite nice. So it's an uppercut to the other side. But the main reason I do this, it's just a wonderful movement of the spine. That twist of the spine gives the power of the movement. So I keep slow, keep moving forward. So you see, so you lose a bit of my head. You can see maybe that's an advantage, maybe I lose all my head. Just see the more body. And you can imagine how nice this would be if we were doing this outside. In the early morning, best time to do it. Just get a swing. Okay, so we're going to move on. Just going to do another little exercise, another little. So this is, I've got my, in this case, I've got my left foot forward. And if you can see what I'm doing, it just makes this movement easier. It's my waist, my spine. It's providing the momentum for the movement. It's not me like doing this. But my, just my, using my arms, I'm doing that, it's my movement. It just means the movement's more effective and you're able to keep up for longer. We were just doing it for a few seconds. So this is my left foot forward, so it's kind of my left, left hands leading. And then move over to the right, do exactly the same movement. So it's almost like your circle's going on there. Both, both hands are doing vertical circles. Okay, I'll just do another one. Okay. And again, I'm basically punching down. And the momentum, the movement is coming from that. The movement is spine. So it's not a hand or arm exercise, although they are moving to some extent. Okay. 
Okay, do one more exercise. I love squats. Yeah. So this is kind of like a squat. It's adapted for Qigong exercise. So we'll get the half palms facing down. So palms are facing down. And then as if we're throwing some out in the air. We turn around as we're coming up. That's good. I may say this earlier. All breathing should be, all breathing in should be in through the nose. We'll come to that a bit more as we go on to the next part, in our next section of the exercises. One more. And then back. So, our body should be nice and warmed up. Heart beats and the mind is starting to quicken. Breathing, done a bit of breathing, and we're well loosened up with all the joints in the body. So we're going to go on to the main section or the main part of the session, which is actual general movements themselves. Uh, these should be done at a kind of slow, very relaxed pace. Uh, uh, again, our stance starting off at this uh, certainly shoulder, shoulder width, hip width apart. Do the first one here. Nice place to start off is with the hands. Palms facing up. And we're taking the palms up in front of your body. And then we get to about, just about chin height. We twist the hands round, so the palms are facing down, and then we take That's good. Nice and easy. Flowing. If I bring the breathing in, breathe in. And at this point, start breathing in. Good. That's it. And if you can see uh, my actual movement, and again, it's a little squat here, as my arms are moving down, I'm bending my knees. So, the two movements, the arms and the bending knees are done together. We have that symmetry, which is always nice. We'll do final one. And then we'll take the hands out to the side again. It's always a nice way to finish these movements. And then we'll move on to the next one. So this is one we rub our hands together. What we're doing is creating a bit of energy. But with the friction in our hands, the heat. And then what we do is take our hands, the fingers facing each other. We can even possibly feel that force field that we've created. And then we take our hands out to the side. And back again. So if we bring our breathing in, breathing in through our nose. And then out. It's going to be more difficult to breathe out through your nose. So just breathe out through your mouth. 
And this has been described as, you know, you're working with a ball of energy and you're expanding that ball of energy and then you're squeezing it. If you get that imagination going, I'm sure I can certainly feel that. Okay. Okay, let's just try a wee bit higher up. Same movement, exactly the same movement. One more. Now let's just let the hands down. Again, I find that quite hard work, so let's just share the hands again. Okay. So we're going on to another one. Yeah, this is the one where we it's called, actually called butterfly wings. Uh, wrists are crossed. What I do is move the hands back and then out right to the side. Again, grab that side. Okay, so bring our hands at the starting point, start breathing in, and you can notice how I'm turning the hands around in themselves. So by the time they get about head height, the palms are facing out to the side. And you can see that, you can't, well, you can't actually see it, but I'm bending my knees. As my arms are coming back to that starting point. So breathe it in, and then start breathing out. Breathe it in. One more. And then we'll start the point. Nice way to finish each exercise is just the hands out to the side. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in this case, I'm going to take a step forward and I'm going to shift my weight. So what I'm actually doing is just uh, rolling back and forward. Just using soles of my feet. So when I'm forward this position, my back heels up. When I'm in this position, my toes are up. Okay, and then I'm going to add something in here. Take your hands up. See, I'm stuck for space here. <laughs> That's the very hard. Open your arms again, some. What well, I mean, I said earlier, you know, about doing it in a confined space. Again, this would be a lovely one to do outside. See how the muscles of the chest are stretched out. You just, you can just imagine this filling our lungs and good fresh air. This is sort of one you do in a deserted 
page. The sea will happen on the seashore. That's nice. And then one more. And we'll bring the feet back together again. We're going to do one more exercise. This is always a difficult one for people to do. It's called clown hands. I'll do it anyway. And uh, we can work on these things. I think the, the intention, if we can get some regular video, I'm still using that old fashioned term, I know. I think the idea would be some sort of streaming technology where we could have an interactive session uh, and we could work closely on some of these uh, exercises that I've been doing. Possibly I could even correct this as I'm doing it. That's for the future. Okay, and then I'll bring my hands back. So what I want you to do now, I just want to finish off. I've just got this movement. So you can't see my feet, but I'm just like shifting weight from one side to the other. This time when I shift the weight to my left, I raise my right toe and I have this. This is my last bit, so I'm just finishing now. So you could do this for quite a considerable time. It's a nice feeling, nice thing to do. You know, and then as I start doing it, I can bring my arms. And they're like dead weights, they're just moving with the momentum of the movement. Okay, so I'm just finishing now and I'm just going to sit down, turn this off. I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, any feedback would be appreciated. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon.